Hey guys, this is a collaboration between me and LazyWorks, though they're also named Lackadaisical-Artist on DA. And this is her line art, sketch, doodle, unfinished thing, <laughs> from a game that she likes called, I'm gonna butcher how it's pronounced, Honkai Gakuen 2. Vamp Curse. Um, I actually don't know anything about it. I just asked for the reference photo and it's all so, you know, included there. So it's just a bunch of me trying to make sense of her stylized choices. Because Lazy, Lazy has such a really brilliant anime, you know, style that's very creative. <laughs> it has a lot of artistic liberties and a lot of twists and turns and overlapping and when I when when you don't know the character or you know what feel they're trying to do it's kind of hard to translate it to my style it was really difficult um, I was constantly fighting how to draw because <laughs> I, I don't know how it works like how how anime characters have their necks so stretched or you know, the hair that gets to be super, like, layered and stuff. It, it was it was a bit difficult, and I wanted to keep Lazy's art, you know? I didn't want to just overpaint everything and change it into something else. And, yeah, it was just very struggle mode. But I ended up, you know, really liking how it went. And I was trying to, you know, try out some, some hues, some some red colors you know trying to bring more life into the eyes and stuff this video is actually sped up um i think 1000 like 10 times as fast just because i spent so long the whole video is actually my my live stream while i did this it lasted around three hours and it was super long because I'm just distracted on a live stream, you know? You, you just talk to people and stuff. It, it's hardly a place for productivity, honestly. But yeah, it was it was pretty cool. Look, I'm trying, I'm trying to put some, you know, blue lighting, subtle lighting that's not so subtle. I had issues with the brush that I was using and it wasn't really blending as well as I would hope for it to blend. There's just a lot of problems that I'm facing on this on this thing. I'm second guessing myself so much on the hair. That's 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 part of that struggle of not actually knowing the line art. I I appreciate how, you know, when you start a line art and when you start, you know, sketching your own ideas and stuff that you kind of know which things that you actually draw. Like you know that this line is to symbolize a, a cape, this line is to symbolize like a hair strand or whatever. It's very like you know the information. But this one, I was just given like the line art itself and then the image of the character. And sometimes I didn't even know that, oh, this one was supposed to be a wing. Huh? <laughs> it was very difficult um, trying to get to know the line art itself. And it was pretty fun too, because it's like, while on the stream, I was, I was complaining that, what is this line? I don't know where this line belongs to. So I was just roll, rolling with it and then afterwards when you paint over it, it's like, oh, that line was supposed to be a sleeve and stuff. Yeah. Oh, this one is fun. I'm, I'm gonna call it magic just because that skirt is so bad because I didn't know what the hell to do. I didn't understand how skirts could be like that. So I was badly trying to be like, oh, let me just put some patterns and stuff. Let me just manually sketch and then ended up just painting over it and apologizing to Lazy. And then I'm trying to put some magic into it, you know, doing smart layers and stuff. So I made like the shape, the general shape of each uh, pleat of the skirt. And then I made it into a smart object and started like copy pasting, warping it into something that resembles like a warping skirt, you know, wrapping around the body. And then, because it's a smart layer, I could actually edit the one layer and then it'll affect the entire thing. So it's like magic. And it was, uh, it was quite fun trying to play around with that type of, type of technique. Because 
I can't be asked, man. That that skirt didn't make sense to me. <laughs> so I, I'll just I'll just cheat on it. And this one, I actually painted this one. I liked how the skirt, the the frilly things turned out. You know, just adding like blues and purples. It's, I love these colors. It, it makes it look so. I don't know. It makes it look so elegant to me. I lo I love the color scheme of the skirt. The rest, nah, not so much. I'm almost done, honestly. It's just a lot of tweaking, a lot of hating on this this skirt, hating on this sleeve, talking to people. <laughs> so I I actually noticed that the symbol on the skirt was not even correct. I was like, what the hell is this symbol? So this is where I tried to, you know, fix that issue, like making it a bit more crossy and then, yeah, duplicating it and stuff. Well, yeah, at least, you know, with this kind of technique, it's kind of easy to fix your mistakes and it will affect like the whole enchilada. So the whole skirt was affected and I only needed to draw it once, you know. Lazy was like saying, you know, what the hell, I want that technique on, on my sign. I'm like... Photoshop, bruh. <laughs> it was quite fun. So this is just a lot of painting, 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 making mistakes. Yeah, cleaning it up, making everything darker and all that. Like, this was a really neat challenge as well. I kind of got creative with how I placed some textures and, and all that, because... I really can't be asked at this point. Like I didn't want to draw anything that would take away so much and I was feeling honestly pretty lazy. Heh, <laughs> lazy. But yeah, I forgot the hand, but honestly if the hand was there it would have just disappeared from the ruffles anyway. Here I tried making a, like a little bit more ruffly pattern and I was confused on how it kind of connects to everything so I will just Chalk it up to anime logic. <laughs> anime logic. Mm. Some goldy goldy bracelets. It, it It's honestly not that... It's on my best coloring. But... I, don't know, I had so much fun trying to... Kind of decipher another artist's line art. And the funny thing is... With her line art, and then she's gonna color it, it looks so awesome. But in her line art, and I'm gonna color it, it looks so, uh... It looks out of place. Like, it's not bad, but it looks out of place. <laughs> but I had so much fun doing this, like, just, just messing around with, you know, another person's artwork. Having that fear of maybe failing and try making it look ugly. <laughs> like it's so beautiful and then ugly. Oh here I added the, the wings. I just lassoed some wing shapes and hopefully it looks wingy. I added more ruffles. I refined a little bit of the buttons but it wasn't really necessary anymore because I mean if I refined more I need to up increase the level of every single detail and I'm just eh, too lazy add a few more color swatches just put more greens put more blues add some effects you know and then we're pretty much done just a little bit more cleanup I don't know I learned a lot from this collab it's like It's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, my favorite part, just messing around with the background, just blur everything. <laughs> I'm asking for a signature over here. Hey, hey, there we go. Blurring the background, having fun, making it look proer than it is. There's our sig, and we're done. Awesome. Thank you for watching that. 10 minute video of just me rambling. I learned a lot from the collaboration. It's just, you know, it's it's a different mindset really. Like you appreciate how 
each artist have a different way of showing stuff in their artwork and sometimes if somebody else would be looking at it it's not exactly the way the information is conveyed you know like if this is a wing it's not instantly a wing to another person i just learned so many things and yeah i'm having fun thank you